guys, it is Crazy Cube from the Mario Men here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a Switch case right here. Um, I don't know the brand to this, I'm sorry, but if you look up Switch cases, and if you see something like that has like this logo right here, totally look that up, sorry I can get this in light, uh, totally look that up, um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, before we get into the video, I have, uh, X-Force comic. Um, I have like triple of these. Uh, one of them is hanging up on the wall over there. And, um, yeah, um, on the back it has a NES advertisement, which I thought was really cool. It says, uh, you make the rules. It's pretty cool. And it has like, uh, NES cases and stuff. I see Mario Bros. Uh, I see Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. Like, right there, they have the doubles. I used to have one of the doubles. Um, I don't, I can't find that anymore, but, um, yeah, so I thought that was cool, and, uh, let's get into the video, um, so, this is a Nintendo Switch case, um, let me open this up right here, okay, so, um, the games would hold, the games, like, hold in great, um, they're actually, like, really compatible, and, um, they fit in great, they won't fall out in your case, and then you just can't find them. Um, yeah, uh, I'm using, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3D World, Bowser's Fury, but, for, sorry, Fury. Um, I keep mess mixing them up with Fury and Furry, because they, it just looks like Furry, but, okay, moving on. Um, yeah, I thought that was, uh, I think you can fit those in really good. Um, I'm just using Bowser's, uh, Fury as an example. I have Switch games over there. Um, and, uh, okay, so those fit in perfectly. I give those a 10 out of 10. Uh, the game cartridges. I know they're really small, but they get smaller on every game. Because on the, on the DS, actually, if I can grab a game from the DS over here, like, it's decently bigger size than the Switch. Like, here, as an example right here. It's so, like bigger in width and height, just insane. Like it's literally, I w almost want to say it's two times bigger, but I don't think it's quite that much. So let me just put this back in the case. Um, so yeah, I think that's really good. But uh, my only complaint about this is how the switch fits in. It barely has any space to even put it in. It does have a strap right here, which is pretty neat. It has like a little strap right here. It's like a tech strap. Uh, it's pretty cool, um, but, uh, it takes a while to fit in, it has no space to move around, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it to move around, because then we get, like, scratched up and everything, but at the same time, um, say if you're on a road trip, I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you didn't bring a switch charger, or if you forgot it or something, um, say if, the, if you're moving around and then this just touches the power cord, the power cord would, like, turn on, and then it would just touch that. And then, um, about 60 minutes later, um, your Switch is dead. We don't have a charger for it, so that really sucks. And, yeah, um, that part, that part gets, like, a 5. Um, yeah, probably a 5. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't really like the Switch part. Um, it's okay. Uh, and it, uh, folds up pretty good, too. If I can just zip this up right here. It's pretty nice. Um, I like the zip up, and um, uh, on the back of it, this is what the back looks like. It has uh, these like these stands up, stand up right, stand ups right here. They're like um, they're pretty cool. Um, I guess if you just want to stand them up somewhere, like um, they're pretty neat. Um, yeah, and uh, sorry, I don't know the name of the product, but if you look up switch cases. I forgot the name, I know how much it costs, but, uh, just look up switch cases and find one of these. Uh, it's like a star with a tail, I guess, but, um, um, yeah, they go for about anywhere from 9 to $12, uh, with, sh with shipping, it if, if shipping, it kind of depends on the seller, um, but, yeah, I would, I still kind of recommend this, so, a 5 and a 10, so we're going to round that to 7.5. That's in the middle of 5 and 10. So, I give all of this in general a 7.5. But, um, 
yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video, and, um, this is Crazy Coop signing off. Have a good day or night, and peace.